We're going to show you an app in this AT Fast Track session on how to scan a hard copy document, a handout or page of a book that you want to maintain format. You want to scan it to have it either read aloud to the student or enlarge for a student with a visual impairment or again read aloud for learning disabilities. I'm going to start with my camera app in a well-lit area. I'm going to hold my uh, iPad over the document very still. Snap the picture. I'm going to double tap on the home button to very quickly get to my Read Iris app. Go to plus, camera roll. It's going to process the image and flip it accordingly. I'm going to double tap on that page and you'll see in orange all the text that has been recognized and scanned by the uh, app. If I don't want an area to um, be scanned and read aloud, I can tap on it, hold it down, and delete. Now I need to export this text to uh, iBooks or whatever app I want to use to have it uh, use speak selection and have it read aloud. So look in the top right hand corner for the box with the out arrow and tap on open in and it's going to recognize the page and I'm going to open in iBooks. It's going to automatically flip to the iBook bookshelf. Here I can now um, enlarge it if I need, have a student with a, a visual impairment or if I need that um, text read aloud I can tap on that text, hold your finger down and select it and speak. Physiology is the study of how a part of the body works. Okay, now what I want to do is take it into an app that allows me to uh, type on the document. And what I do is toggle back again to read Iris. And we've already scanned the document. What I need to do is um, tap on that box with the out arrow in the top right hand corner and open in a different app that allows me to uh, type on that app. And let's go to an app like Type on PDF. So it's going to pull that um, document in, and in this app, all I need to do is tap on the A at the top of the document, and I can tap wherever I want to, let's take this down a little bit just to show you, uh, enter text. So now I can type in Barbara Wellsford, And if I want to put the date in, I just tap anywhere else, and it is March 11th, 2013. When I'm done filling in um, my document, I can tap on uh, that area of text, you know, the, the little arrows, and move around my text boxes. And then what I'd want to do is tap Send and I can send it in high definition and exporting the document to email and of course um, I don't want an ad and what it's telling me to do is buy the app for $4.99 and that is a feature of the paid app and it is very worthwhile we have many students who are with dysgraphia etc who are um, producing their written work on their um, formerly hard copy document, now digitized. They're doing it on their iPads and emailing it out to their teachers. If I want to quickly go back to iBooks, I'm going to have the next question read aloud. I'm going to uh, double tap on the home button, get my multitask bar up, tap into iBooks, and it automatically flips to the next question. And that's another value of, um, of that multitask feature. Bell was a professor of vocal physiology and elocution. So I have that read aloud, and I'm going to multitask, double tap on the home button, tap on, type on PDF, 
and uh, go and answer that question just by tapping on the A and um, answering the question in this text box by either voicing it in using dictation on the keyboard or typing it in. Okay, that's providing alternate access to uh, hard copy documents very quickly and efficiently right at the student's desk. They can be doing it independently and completing tasks.